you know, angry, angry don't cover how I feel at the moment. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at this. This, 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 is, this is where I'm, I won't say I'm lucky enough to live because I bloody work for it. But I've got beautiful views. I don't think you can see them, you know, over the countryside. And I think, fuck me, I love this place. And then I look at what it's turning into. <laughs> and the fact that we've now got this third term of Khan. My God, what, what a bloody insult to the people of London. But they say, if you get the politicians you deserve, well, I don't think that's particularly true to the, to the people that actually got off their asses and voted against him, or for other people. But those that sat back and done nothing, you know, the, the apathetic that couldn't be bothered. Or, you know, if you weren't apathetic, he was thick, thick as shit, as far as I'm concerned. If you voted for him, you fool them for the absolute bullshit and lies and propaganda that he has been allowed to promote himself and, you know, and uh, this crap agenda that he's got behind him with C40 Cities and the World Economic Forum. And people sat back and they believed it all. And, I mean, someone said, oh, I don't know how he won because he, he didn't campaign. Well, he didn't need to, did he? Because everywhere you look, every bus, every bloody train has got his propaganda and crap plastered all over it. So he didn't need to. So, uh, to lose it is one thing. But to have, to have it stolen from us, to have our capital city stolen from us through, as again, his lies and propaganda is one thing. But the lack of opposition, and <laughs> there's, no way, there's no way around it, there was a lack of opposition. Susan Hall absolutely believe that she is nice, and, you know, she's a nice person, very well intentioned, but you, you have to be not the strongest candidate, without a doubt, you know. Lovely nature and everything else, but not the strongest candidate. So the Tories didn't want it. If that hasn't become blatantly obvious by now, well, you, you, you've got your eyes shut. They didn't want it. Why would they want it, for God's sake? Khan imp as implements uh, you know, policies that they really want, but haven't got the bollocks to do. So the, uh, Labour do it on their behalf uh, and take the blame. But say, this, this is it's not a democracy. Now, OK. There may, he may, and I do say may because I think I'm still very dubious about was if there was any electoral fraud. Obviously, the electoral commission, commission, they won't be looking into it, so forget all that. But to my mind, let's just, just assume that he did get the majority of votes. What did you base your vote on? Yeah, it's perceived wisdom. It's the knowledge that you, you think you have in your head. Where did you get it from? Well, anyone believes that he was a good mayor or has been a good mayor and would make a new one where are they getting their knowledge from where are they getting their information from because if you open your eyes drive down the road bang 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 up and down in potholes look at every single bloody day virtually there's someone dead on their streets I've just seen this today a woman at 66 i think um stabbed to death by a somalian like dead i mean i'm and there is a video going around of it, and which I've seen, not not pleasant. I mean, I looked at the first bit, but I don't, I don't really want to be looking at dead people. And, but it's there, it's there. How much evidence do you need of what he's done, of the state that London has become? Yet some mysteriously is in power again. And the smug look on his face, and he's ignorant when it comes to sh even shaking the hands of his opponents that he's beaten when it comes to Susan Law or Howard Cox. What an ignorant, arrogant man. He's thumbing his nose and laughing. He's the most smug. It's, well, why wouldn't he be smug? He's conned us and we've allowed him to con us. So I, I despair. I despair of what is going to go on. Pe people that don't understand that he's a cheerleader for all the crap that's coming down from the WEF and C40 cities. He's there and people have voted him back in if they did. So, I don't know where we're going to go. I'm, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But personally, I'm not going away anyway. You know, there, there are other people fighting this and we know the way they do it. And you know, we all choose our own methods. I've, I've got things going on. I, I'm not going anywhere. Because uh, you can't. How can you run away? Unless you want to be, unless you want to be part of this flight that just gives up on our city and runs away, you have to stay and try to fight it. So, 
that's what I will, and quite a few other people I'm sure will be doing. So you, you didn't win, Khan, your lies did.